What's going on, everybody? Hello there, I'm Josh Rodriguez here with the good news. I am with NFL Hall of Fame running back Eric Dickerson. How is that amazing? How is 17 for 43 amazing? That is not amazing. That is terrible basketball. Stop doubting him. Let, let him. If he's going to fall off, let him fall off. Let him fall off the cliff, then go down to the cliff or wherever he landed. Check his pulse. Make sure he's dead. His team was playing well all game. No. His team, Doug McDermott let, let, had let four threes all game. Let, They're let, playing well all guess. game. Let Fourth guess. quarter, he comes in and he starts chucking the ball. His shot selection was four. awful. And you can't blame that on Russell Westbrook. Mm. When, when you're jacking up, when you're jacking up threes off the dribble with 18 yeah. seconds on the shot clock, taking fadeaway jump shots with people on you. That's what Russ do though. He, that is. <laughs> that's what Russ but does. that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean Paul George has to do that. But either. that's that's Russ but, style of basketball. But the, but you can be but, Paul George and you can be your own person and you can do other things as well. You can watch him get buried, stay at the grave, and then make sure he doesn't rise from the grave before we announce him dead. Tom Brady's not dead. He's not dead. The Patriots are not dead. If he has two bad games, it happens. They're fine. 38-7 over the first place Miami Dolphins against a team that's supposed to challenge him for the division crown. They're winning the AFC East. They're going to be in the playoffs. They might have a bye. Stop proclaiming Tom Brady dead. Start Carlos Hyde. The Cleveland Browns are going to run the football. I know they have Josh Gordon. I know they have Jarvis Landry. But let's not pretend that Tyrod Taylor has been slinging the rock his whole career. They're going to run. And Carlos Hyde right now is the running back for that squad. I do think they move the football a little bit. I do think he gets in the end zone. I think he's the most consistent player out of those three. And I would start him. Russell, Russell Westbrook had 50. Three or fifty-one. Because he one. shot so many times, forty-three times. Because he can't pass it. Yes, he to can. Anyone. To yes, Oladipo can score. Yeah. Oladipo has been a sufficient shooting guard his whole career. He's averaged sixteen points per game this year and last year in the Magic without Russell Westbrook. Steven Adams is a yesterday. good big man. Enos Cantor is one of the best offensive big men off the bench. McDermott can shoot. Don't give me he doesn't have every, anybody. He, he has have, people. Yes, he I, does. You watched it yesterday. I watched it. I saw him pass the ball. They may not be great, but they are good. I saw him pass the ball to Oladipo. There's a difference between passing someone the ball just to pass in the ball. No. You have to, if you are a point guard and you have a shooter on the wing, you drive <laughs> towards the defender, get the double, kick it out so he's open for a and three. And when you do there that, the shooter needs to make shooters. the shot. Though. But he doesn't do it. He just passes no, the ball. He he did it. He no, he did it, but they were missing. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't do it consistently. He you is wild. Westbrook. I don't hate you him. Hate I just him. think the love for him is insane. The how? Dude shoots 43 he shots. averaged a triple double. He missed. How many shots? Let's do the match. Of course. Let's do the match. Let's do the match. Let's do the match. No, no, no. Number two, I got the Jamaican bobsled team, the Green Bay Packers, <laughs> and I like it because they're wearing Jamaican colors. Yep. So, it <laughs> so, it's so perfect. It does it for me. They get in line, they're synchronized. I don't know if you saw the video in slow motion, but they're actually doing it, and it's fantastic. And if He's going to get a lot of time to have isolation spots while James Harden is on the bench. I kind of agree with you, but I kind of don't. Like, the ISO spot to me is the way the Rockets ISO are different is different than the way Melo likes to ISO, right? Oh, so, yeah, Melo, he gets the ball uh, mid range and he takes his guy off the dribble. And he's, mm -hmm. he's great at it, pull up jumper. But, you know, the Rockets, the way they ISO is top key, spread it out for Harden and Paul. They'll go at it, drive and kick. Um, so I don't I don't know if D'Antoni's going to change that much of the offense. He has to. I, I, there will be sets. But how many a game? 